Hello, it's the Mighty Marvel Show and I'm Paul and I'm checking in very quickly with a very quick video. I've just finished watching the live stream of Hasbro Pulse 1027. That's the annual event they do from Hasbro Pulse headquarters, hosted by Steve Evans and Emily, who's from the G.I. Joe Classified range. And I'm obviously talking about the Marvel Legends reveals because there were some reveals tonight and there's going to be some pre-orders up now. And I'm starting with something very, very passionate for me, very close to my heart. It's the Marvel Legends 3.75 inch figures. Two reveals tonight that are going to be going with Doctor Doom, which we already know about. So the Doom figure was actually there. Steve didn't open it, but he had an in-hand version mint on card, which he laid out with the rest of the Fantastic Four set to give you that nice looking five there. And the two main reveals, there is a super sweet Power Man, Luke Cage. This is awesome. I'm absolutely loving this. It looks brilliant. It's been on one of my wish lists. You can check that video out on my page now. So I've been after this figure for a while. It looks great. They've gone for the black trousers with this one. There was a discussion about with Marvel about what they were going to do. The original version was the black trousers, not the blue. I think the black looks great. I'd have taken either one. This character looks fantastic. That sculpt looks excellent and it's really really cool vibrant colors and i love the box as well it looks superb and bursting through and smashing the brick open there so that looks super cool really really pleased with the look of that you would have maybe thought you'd get an iron fist but no there's a female character which is great because we want more of these female characters in this range. well i want more of the female characters in this range and it's another one that's been on my wish list before and you know what it is if you keep doing wish lists eventually you're gonna get them and it is jessica drew spider woman and again, this looks phenomenal. So excited about this. The box looks excellent. It's a really cool picture on it. And they've actually gone for the long sort of flowing swept out hair to the side, which looks great. And they wanted to do something different than you got with the amazing Fantasy 15 Spider-Man version, which is with the web wings here on the back of Spider-Woman. And you've got this really smart looking translucent material that pins in, sticks in, in on a pin on the back which from the front on looks great you can see it flowing out from the side so that looks really cool so i'm really really impressed with that super clean lines on that obviously there's a digital render but the in-hand version looks epic and the thing with the mask faces for these female characters they look a lot better because of the smaller figure obviously the details harder to get in the faces masked versions look awesome so really really pleased with this. that looks fantastic I'm going to be pre-ordering that leg up tonight, any minute now, probably up now as you're watching this, or you may have ordered them already. I will be immediately ordering. In fact, I probably have by the time you are listening and watching this. I'll be getting two of the Spider-Woman, and I might even get two of the Luke Cage, but I'm definitely going to be getting those to complete, because I've got the whole set at the moment. They're my absolute jam. So very excited about those. We did get a look in hand at the Ghost Rider figure, which is the first vehicle one. It isn't in plastic free. It isn't in plastic packaging. Well, it is plastic free. It isn't in plastic packaging. Um, I can make an exception for this one. I think it is a bit disappointing. So I'm going to I'm going to get two of that one when that goes out for pre order because I do want to keep one boxed with all my whole of the 3.75 line but i do want to get that one out and the bike because what's the point of having one with a cool accessory like that and not having it out the bike moves quite well steve was showing it on the video and that looks quite smart so i'm very excited by that the guys then touch base with the dead duck limping along in the water that is the dead ducks limp in the water i don't know no they float dead ducks just bob up and down in the water the Haslab engine of vengeance now you had the final reveal of the final tears. Before that, Dwight did show some pictures that he's put on his social media. He took the car actually to a car park at night. And yeah, it looks cool. It lights up well. There's some great photography there. But you did get the final reveal tonight. So you saw the in-hand uh, Mephisto and you saw the in-hand uh, Madeline uh, Pride of Goblin Queen. Then you got the final tear reveal, which is a Damien Hellstrom figure. Now, I've got to say, it looks okay. Um... It's quite basic. It's a new Vulcan buck, but it looks quite basic. The paint application on the trousers, it just looks lazy. It just looks like it's painted on. No sort of loose fleck on the bottom of the trousers, something that makes them actually look 3D on him. It just looks like they're painted on. I think that's really basic. And that is it. That is the final tier. So to be honest, Seeing that as a final tier, you've got Mephisto, you've got the Goblin Queen, you've got Damien Hellstrom, you've got the Robbie Ray's head and the Ghost Rider body and all the attachments. 
that's the lot. Now, it is no wonder this is not getting backed. It's not going to happen, people. There's just a few days to go. It's not going to hit the thousand. You are not getting the 9,000 backers for the initial project. You are absolutely not getting the Goblin Queen at 10, Damon at 10, 11, and Mephisto at 12. It's just not happening. So um, they did give the final push. You could almost sense the resignation in their voices that they just know it's not it's not coming. So anyway, enough of the Haslab. It's not happening. So more six-inch reveals. And a couple of cool figures. The uh, red-jacketed Simon Williams Wonder Man figure that was released. Uh, looks okay. Doesn't interest me, to be honest. I'm a big 1980s West Coast Avengers fan. I didn't like this look. It doesn't appeal to me. I'm all about the blue with the red W on it. So I'm not going to be getting this figure. It's not one that, that stands out for me, to be honest. It doesn't interest me. <clears throat> then there's another figure released. This was the Yelena Belova comic book accurate figure. And again, it looks okay. The body looks good. Double pins, uh, double elbows, double knees, uh, pinless. Lots of accessories, but no second head. So you have no option on that masked head with the sort of sniper visor on. There's no other option to it. And that just doesn't interest me. I'm not that invested in this character anyway, to be honest. But that just doesn't interest me. No second head on it. That just seems pointless. So you're stuck with that version unless you want to stick one of those awful invisible woman heads that they did from, from the retro range. So that doesn't appeal to me. Not interested in that. If you are, let me know. They'd be interested to see what you think on it. Then there was a Baron Von Strucker figure. It looks quite nice. Uh, I like the colour scheme. The green is good. It's got the Satan glove with it. The Satan gauntlet with it. Uh, the detail on the face is great with the monocle and the scars. The build looks good, but it doesn't interest me. It's not a figure I'm particularly worried about. So it doesn't interest me. So I'm going to be passing on that one. And then they had some in-hand versions of the figures that were teased at the PulseCon recently. And this is the two-pack VHS box set of the Venom and... Uh, Venom. No, it's not. Complete lie. Carnage. Carnage and symbiote spider-man with the cell shading on it um i don't particularly like the carnage figure actually i think the digital renders look better than it does in hand i think it's quite basic i think it's it's the paint job is quite poor for carnage i think it should be quite detailed with all that sort of symbiote easing uh, oozing through it it doesn't look good to me doesn't interest me annoyingly i am interested in that spider-man though because i'm always interested in a symbiote spider-man particularly one that's got this cool cell shading on it i think it looks great but i don't really want to get that pack but i think i'm going to be forced into getting that pack because i do want that spider-man it looks great it's got the toe articulation as well and it's got the newer purpose-built builder renew your valves body so it looks epic so i think on that basis i'm probably gonna end up having to get it pre-orders are going up tonight so i will probably dive in on that i'm going to look at the price first though to be honest on that because because really that that's what's been driving a lot of these things and i do worry that's going to be quite expensive from hasbro but we'll see so that's it that's my run through there i'm super excited about the 3.75s i'm not mega excited about much of the other things to be honest um but that's my views and just my opinions but what are yours let me know stick it in the comments did you watch it what are you going to be getting what's your thoughts let me know pop it down in the comments and give me a like and subscribe video as well that'd be lovely appreciate it thanks very much i'm out of here see you next time